Leadership at West Virginia University could be in question. Faculty decided today they're tired of fearing that their jobs and programs are in jeopardy, voting no confidence in the university's president. KDK's Lauren Lender is live with more. Lauren. Ken, the no confidence vote passed by a large margin, and it wasn't the first time that West Virginia University's president faced this kind of vote. He also did in 2021, but at that time, it failed to pass. The motion passes. With that, West Virginia University's faculty assembly voted they have no confidence in President Gordon Gee's leadership claiming he mismanaged the university's finances and failed to be transparent. It's a decision following months of scrutiny after Gee and the university announced plans to cut two dozen majors and reduce faculty to address a $45 million budget shortfall. I recognize you. Thank you. For nearly two hours, professors and staff made their voices heard, some in favor. President Gee is the finest president that I have ever worked with in this university, and I've worked with lots of them. Some against. There is no real restraint on Guy's administration. The only corrective can come from public outcry and protest by students and employees. At the same time, just outside the building, the student union held a protest. Prior to the vote, Guy had the opportunity to speak before the assembly. I must say that if I had done all of those things, I'd probably vote no confidence myself. But he also said the university would still move forward with their future plans for academic transformation. In a statement, the Board of Governors said it acknowledges the vote, but, quote, unequivocally supports the leadership of President Guy and the strategic repositioning of WVU, calling information in the resolutions unfounded and that the university plans an academic transformation back in December 2020. I was scared that it wasn't going to pass, and I thought that if it did, it would be by a little margin, like maybe just a few people. Senior Olivia Dowler is impacted by the proposed cuts, but she's starting to feel optimistic. Another senior, Mylin, has similar feelings and hopes this is a turning point. It symbolizes symbolizing a significant majority of faculty of your subordinates not having confidence in you leading an institution. Now, the assembly also voted to freeze the ongoing academic program and faculty cuts. The Board of Governors will make all their final votes on September 15th, and that board also just extended the president's contract by one year last month. The president also said a week later after that, he said that he plans to step down from his position at the end of that contract in 2025. For now, reporting live in Pittsburgh, Laura Linder, KDK TV News.